Welcome back. And now I would be taking you towards the importance and design of marketing program for developing brand equity. And, and we have talked about the importance of elements. Now we are going for the aspects associated with and, and I mentioned uh, environmental factors associated with a brand or market as such. See the elements and selection of brands create value for the customer based brand and the most important strategy is brand related marketing activities and marketing planning such as product strategy, price strategy, channel strategy, marketing communication strategy, four P's at, at uh, you know in a nutshell. McCarthy has contributed this uh, you know and, and whole of the world has been using this uh, uh, aspect of 4P, uh, the theory of 4P which is definitely a mainstay now. So, and it is very adequate. So, let us see that how we focus upon these aspects to enhance brand equity. That is, that is uh, the kind of discussion we are going to have for next half an hour. Now, you see let us start from marketing communication because we were focusing upon uh, elements which are you know definitely you know they, they have uh, resonance with marketing communication uh, more or less even packaging the, the last element which we talked about. So, see IMC builds relationships that build brands Duncan has said that. And brand building relies on creation and nurturing of profitable relationships to meet objectives which is the goal of IMC processes. As I said for detailed integrated marketing communication discussions you may visit YouTube uh, my course on integrated marketing communication. But here one must revisit few fundamentals associated with IMC and, and at this moment I want you to remember the resonance pyramid especially and the brand value chain uh, the, the, that picture. So, IMC involves managing marketing communication in a holistic manner to achieve strategic brand building objectives we all know that and it helps in establishing connection with consumer that is again a very important deal. And I would be using several examples to elaborate upon IMC as well as the importance of other P's bear with me for, for a while. And just to you know take you to fundamentals, current brand knowledge traverses through communication towards desired brand knowledge. And when we talk of brand knowledge I have elaborated upon that uh, in, in uh, preceding videos and preceding sessions. But again the point is communication actually supports that. You may say in terms of campaigns, you may say in terms of sequential messages definitely with lots of consistency and uh, we will be talking of consistency in a short while. So, a message those words those pictures along with the elements a storyboard some jingles slogans whole of you know the combination of different kinds of modes or media and even vehicles within media everything contributes in actually taking this brand knowledge towards the desired levels. Because once it actually reaches to that level it will stay with you as Camlin colors, Faber castle you know and Barbie doll or teddy bear or Bon Vita and so on. So, that is that is what we wish to think of and that is what a marketer desires for. There is an information processing model of communication for a person to be persuaded by any form of communication the, the, there are some steps for example, exposure, attention, comprehension which is important uh, you know because if, if one does not understand the message it will not work. So, and, and uh, at this moment again you know I and I have talked about that particular portion quite a few times uh, wherein 
uh, I mentioned Mr. Bachchan saying uh, ki uh, dil ki ye baat reh gai idhar bhi aur udhar bhi kind of. You see, so that 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 is an adhesive which we are talking of, and this message actually, you know, generates comprehension. That is the beauty of it actually. So then, the next step is yield. Further, we go towards generating intentions. Planning to act in the desired manner of communication that is where in generate intent and behavior. And now I will be actually putting up a short example in front of you which will sort of you know elaborate upon the aspects which we have just discussed and the subsequent aspects as well. You see let us talk about perfetti. And it is very famous in India in several forms, we will just see. See, Perfetti Van Mail India Private Limited is a privately owned company producing and distributing candies and chewing gums in more than 150 countries worldwide. Its brand portfolio includes and now you would recognize everything Alpenliebe, Mentos, Center Fresh, Dimaag Ki Batti Jala De. No, remember that and then big baboon, center fruit, center shock, just jelly, happy dent wave, chlormint, happy dent etc and etc and there are several other, other, other products as well. So you see PVMI has always been known for its iconic eyeball grabbing and entertaining advertising. And uh, you see uh, one of my favorites definitely is Center Fresh, Alpenliebe was also very melodious kind of an advertisement. You see it, it the, the, uh, the, the toffee itself is wonderful. So the advertising associated with uh, it is also very you know memorable. The brand was then applauded for its you know it, it has been always applauded for its abstra abstract sense of product reliability. Uh, and integrating them into its advertising across mediums as I was trying to mention. And PVMI brands have launched several innovative campaigns like Happy Dent White, Chlormint, Alpenliebe, Mentos which have won several awards for company like Abbey for Happy Dent Protects and Center Fresh, Cans, Silver and Bronze, Adfest for Happy Dent White and Effies for Mentos these are famous awards. The brand identity of Happy Dent is sparkling and strong teeth. Notable campaigns include Dikha Batti Si Kar Baat Achhi Si. You see that, that is what, what uh, we are talking of uh, you know uh, chewing gums. Many a times uh, it becomes the part of our daily routine. Sometimes you do not know why? Sometimes you know you feel like having a chewing gum. But the point is that to stay with the customers in such kind of products which customer may you know switch on and switch off from any time without any reason is the important element which we have to understand. Dato tale diya jale, flash bulbs and daddu ki amanat happy dent you know kind of. PVMI enjoys a huge brand recall amongst its consumers because of its contents and its entire brands were built largely based on effective marketing communications. Remember this example and many more and let us see what marketing communication projects in front of us. Advertising and promotion, interactive marketing, events and experiences and mobile marketing. I would not elaborate much on these, we all know about this. So, but, but just to mention that you see advertising and promotion are powerful means of creating strong, favorable and unique brand associations. I always advise the students of uh, product and brand management and integrated marketing communication just to focus on advertisements of all sorts for 4 5 hours you know at a stretch continuously on internet or on television just watch advertisements and believe me you would stop watching main programs uh, it may be an exaggeration but that is how you would start liking those uh, and that is where the power of advertising comes into play and and that is how it is supportive of actually 
uh, developing a brand and projecting a brand. Then there is a brand experience scale and definitely it is associated with sensory, affective, behavioral and intellectual perspective. We have talked about this in product management as well, but, but you see uh, the, uh, the idea behind putting up this scale is that sensory makes a strong impression on visual sense and other senses. So, it is associated with senses that is how we have to analyze that you know, uh, the communication is affecting what, what kinds of senses visual more or let us say it, it has a sound effect and what part of it is getting retained by the uh, customer. Then you know it induces feelings, it you know it uh, generates or engages the behavioral perspective, behavioral change and engages in lot of thinking when the brand is encountered with or brand comes in front of you. So, intellectual perspective is also there. Now, criteria of choosing IMC program is definitely related to coverage contribution, commonality, complementarity, conformability and then there is a communication conformability and consumer conformability. Now, you see both of these are uh, two faces of the same coin, but when we talk of conformability in relation to communication, it is the ability of mode of communication to effectively communicate with the diverse groups of customers. At the end of the day, we have to reach one and all. There would be a distinction between the responses of people. There can be a group or a larger response or similar response from number of people, but in today's world, holding very large group of customers together with one single kind of a message is, is a tough deal. But there are many messages which have done that and if not then those messages have to change their orientation depending upon the kind of uh, you know understanding we develop through the scales which we have talked about and several other factors which we have talked about. Then cost definitely is a very important element as far as IMC goes. I would be talking about the other three P's, the product, price and place. That means, we are talking of developing marketing program for enhancing brand equity. IMC we have focused upon because it is again one of the most visible elements apart from the product itself. But after this, now let us focus upon the other three P's with reference to actions associated with contribution in the brand equity. I would be enumerating few factors for you for next few minutes, but let me start this discussion with the help of few diverse examples from different industries and with different background perspective. And I will tell you with each example what I mean when I say different background perspective in terms of developing brand equity through marketing programs. Now, you see let us talk of a movie and at this moment I remember two movies, one Gandhi, uh, Richard Attenborough produced that movie on Mahatma Gandhi ji and he spent a very long part of his life on you know understanding uh, his pers persona and personality and then actually producing that movie. So, that movie holds a strong brand equity as a product you may say because, because of a very sound product itself and that is what I am trying to project in front of you with reference to you know uh, product place and price as well. At this juncture, if somehow you wish to think in terms of the brand value chain associated with this movie, you would realize that the movie in itself is a communication. It has been distributed globally because it has been actually you know uh, I, I have seen English and Hindi version. So, so that, that definitely and it looks as fresh as ever whenever you watch it. Look at the thought process of 
the producer and director with reference of uh, uh, being a brand manager himself and you would realize what what I am trying to say Jurassic Park when Steven Spielberg would have been thinking in terms of Jurassic Park he definitely would have focused upon the viewers what kind of viewers should be watching this movie you see I sometimes envy the intelligence of the producer and director wherein he would have thought of uh, you know kind of uh, and then especially the director uh, and then definitely script writers and many other people who would have contributed in that movie you would realize that they would have imagined almost all the customers or all the viewers in the world they they would have thought of that why shouldn't everyone be uh, viewing this movie basically and then they imagined a sequel also at the same time and that is that is what uh, is the beauty of you know as far as the whole scenario goes so i, I talked about bahubali earlier and uh, wherein you know the similar kind of an orientation of uh, you know uh, that movie in terms of being a product came uh, in, in, in front of us but here again jurassic park in itself is a brand Do you remember that logo of jurassic park the, you, you would have seen that on many t-shirts you would have seen that on many stickers you would have seen that everywhere more or less and there would have been several cartoon programs associated with jurassic park so so that is what the perspective of you know uh, being thoughtful by a brand expert brand manager in terms of developing a product and here i am focusing upon product and distribution as well through targeting almost all the customers now let us see harry potter thoughtful author in a way of generating a story which definitely would take us into a different kind of a world was the mainstay again the focus was product and then it reached to every corner and again i i think that most of the people in this world would have watched this movie uh, one or the other way and in different forms of clippings or whatsoever and then again there is a sequel associated with this and, and de definitely the book has been lauded by so many people and, and uh, Bloomsbury published that and they also got you know a lot of good responses out of that. So you see that is where we are talking of product price place and at this moment we are focusing upon product and place specially distribution and field now this is a product or you see here I, I am again germinating uh, a thought in your minds I am inducing a thought in your minds or trying to do so wherein I wish you to think of that a motorcycle as a product and field as a brand as a product it declined the sales practically stopped brand lived and I'll be talking about this in brand life cycle but and and and, and you know uh, rejuvenating a brand when I would be talking about that in almost last part of our discussion so but there Enfield came back as it as a brand it was there as a product it came back and rejuvenated itself because brand was alive so you see again but here I would like to introduce pricing perspective as well Enfield understanding its brand value focusing upon its uh, you know, the rejuvenation of brand equity or strengthening brand equity in due course of time came up with a good pricing they did not compromise on that and they have several premium products as well and a wonderfully priced and distributed product at this particular kind of a moment so just look into the enfield story now just go to their website look at their models and you would realize you know that they focused upon whole of the brand value chain let's look at Danik Jagran a newspaper and I have talked about this product many a times it's one of my favorites a media product which has been supportive in terms of developing several brands when thought of developing its own brand now that is where you know their their capacity came in and definitely uh, uh, Hindi daily becoming one of the largest read in the world 
that is where you know their the success lies and if you will look at their brand journey they did not change price at much of a larger level in terms of the product they definitely worked upon capitalized upon their readership in terms of their ad, uh, you know the, the space uh, the price of the space for advertisers which is definitely their main uh, revenue generating stream and they utilize the content generation for other modes which they are having in their you know bouquet for example uh, they have one fm radio as well and so on so so that is how you know uh, they worked upon as far as developing marketing program for strengthening their brand equity we all know they are doing very well coursera is one of my favorites 8 million subscribers as someone was telling me last time that's not a small deal you know kind of several courses are doing exceptionally well on coursera and and definitely thanks to this organization in one way because i am uh, from the field of academics many students who wanted to learn from their homes the best of the courses are available for them now so that is again and so so they they are doing this good job but definitely they have become mooc largely deciphers as coursera i uh, refrain from saying that they are not other there are not other uh, you know organizations which are not doing good several others are doing exceptionally good but coursera they have they have been enjoying a strong brand power and and they have actually been successfully successful in uh, developing several two years you know uh, management programs or several full programs through coursera board let's talk of a university you may choose any university and then you would realize that and and not look at the students as customers please look at the organizations who would take students from that institution as the customers and students as the product and then you would realize that many institutions they have done exceptionally well and, and uh, today we have rankings to, today we have perceptual uh, perceptual ranking and then uh, talking of perception why not we should talk about you know uh, several ranking organizations also they have got associated with institutions while uh, you know developing their own brand strength and i will be talking about this in co-branding and those kind of things later on but then eureka forbes pani ka doctor you see they wrote history in terms of reaching out to the customers installing their products in almost every household in india wherever possible and directly and they are different in terms of that they focused upon directly reaching to the customer so product place price place is unique in case of eureka forbes you may talk of any celebrity you you may talk of mr dhoni for example he has been you know a part of several successful campaigns all over the country mr bachchan is always there and so many how did they they were brand in themselves mr dhoni has been a very successful captain of indian cricket team so he has that kind of a brand value but then emanating that brand value to strengthen his own brand equity and become the part of the journey of other brands again and then there are several sports celebrity who have done exceptionally well so then a song and I talked about this earlier. Cola Very D is one of my favorites. So, and then there are several, several kinds of songs. Place. When we talk of Singapore, and you see, they not only focused upon restructuring their uh, visitable places or tourist places. For example, Sentosa Island. Now, they actually developed that island with the perspective of that families would be visiting there. They would have so much fun for everyone, you know, small children, elders, everyone. And then they put up wonderful hotels, ropeway, sideways, busways, and so on. And, you know, wonderful airline support and everything integrated in whole of the service which, which they are providing in terms of tourism and prices accordingly and definitely you know so you see this is how we generate marketing programs in terms of bringing up whole of uh, the levels of desired brand equity i can go on and on in terms of you know talking about an airlines for example uh, we can talk about readers digest as a product we can talk about you know uh, 
panchi petha for example you go wherever you you talk about petha and if you if you love sweets definitely and it's uh, northern parts of the country definitely it's very popular here in india so you talk about petha and panchi petha comes out of your mind if if at all it is a different petha as well so uh, this is just for sweet lovers and and then uber and ola i don't have to tell you the story airbnb booking.com is one of my favorites actually you might not have seen advertisements of booking.com so often but then whenever you would visit you know web to search a hotel booking.com would be there to help you there are others also there are other aggregators also but booking.com they have generated a specific place for themselves and so has make my trip you see genuinely this has developed this this organization has developed itself with the perspective of strong product orientation and other elements also with genuine pricing now very quickly should i decipher in front of you the product itself is the primary determinant of what consumers experience with a brand what they hear about a brand from others and remember all the examples i have just uh, talked about you know for brand loyalty to exist consumers experiences with the product must at least meet their expectations perceived quality after marketing support or let's say after sales support we can we can talk about at length in terms of you know for example after marketing means those marketing activities that occur after customer purchase for example i was talking about make my trip so you if you want your reimbursement it's as quick as you have transferred your payments so so everything you know is a synchronized kind of and then they keep you prompting you know prompted on several kinds of schemes which are coming your way pricing policies are about maintaining and improving brand equity and decisions about them must be consistent with the company values as well as the positioning of the product and i i, I don't have to reiterate those examples in front of you that you know booking.com also charges genuinely uh, uh, you know uh, then other uh, for example uh, i was talking of uh, singapore as a tourism destination so so on determining the right minimum price is an art form that takes into account brand positioning and goals resellers margin needs and the competitive environment as such now you see there are elements of consumer price perceptions and then price has to be set to build the brand equity price definitely has an element of cost i have talked about it several times we have talked about types of pricing as well so remember those videos but think of those types of prices with the perspective of actually strengthening the brand attracting the customer retaining the customer making the customer believe that this is genuine this is actually what you know customer would feel happy about after paying then there are several kinds of you know elements to pricing strategy you know people still pay more for stronger brands you can think in terms of uh, you know but i would not say that you know uh, what kind of margins they are earning or what kind of uh, you know uh, benefits they are gaining or what kind of premiums they are uh, charging but iphone definitely they they have a distinctive pricing and and uh, that actually is working for them and customer is also happy so there are several kinds of uh, you know uh, products which you would be uh looking at in terms of uh, wherein customer feels happy by paying high or less whichever way and that is where the design of uh, you know pricing comes into play with respect to contribution in generating brand equity so is the case with channel your channel partners believing in you strengthening your reach to the customer is the most important element i have talked about channels and distribution systems in product management just visit those videos but here again i would suggest that while we are talking of these four p's and mark designing marketing programs for enhancing brand equity we must focus upon the contribution of these four p's in developing the brand as such so here 
the mainstay is that how channel partners are supportive of as far as brand equity development, what efforts they are making. And when I say effort in, in relation to getting closer to the customer, that is the major effort which they would make in uh, you know this, this journey of a brand. I will be coming back to you with lots of secondary brand associations, a very entertaining subject in my next session and till then I just want you to remember what we have discussed up, uh, up till now we have built up a perspective around product and we are going towards that product becoming a brand with an equity. Just stay with me, I will be coming back to you, goodbye.